Yeah, walking straight <laughs> off the fucking cliff. <laughs> hey. Let me take a tumble. Yeah. Breakside Brewing. Wanderlust IPA. So there's a couple different IPAs. Several different beers they have. I might have to fucking get the old light on this situation. Yeah. Yeah, we're left camp to go back to grab some of our gear. We have no light. Not yet. It's dark. Had a couple beers, which is not helping. <laughs> this is not the right fall. On the road. This one isn't nearly as bright. No. So this beer, give us a little shot here for a sec. So it's very, <coughs> definitely has some citrus to it, but it's, oh, it fucking, it's got kind of a pine almost. Oh, it's very. Like a pineapple. It's like a pineapple kind of nose oh. to it. Smell it out of here. Oh, yeah. It's different in cup. Yeah. It's got more fucking oxygen going to mm. it. It hit your fucking mouth hard, dude. It's got a lot of fucking kick to it. A little boozy. Boy, you know, there's less body than I would have thought out of it. Yeah. It's For like that a amount of alcohol. Fucking... Yeah, you get a lot of bitterness straight up front. Oh, yeah. Some decent kind of hop flavor to finish, but then the 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 finish is again real short, real short finish. Not too, not terribly malty. A little bit citrusy, I guess, in the finish. Oh, very citrusy to me. Yeah. A lot of like a real pine kind of uh, kind of aspect to it up front in the flavor. Yeah. Definitely pretty fucking piney. That's for damn yeah, sure. Yeah. Like it hits your tongue and it hits your Super tongue. Super aromatic. A lot of bitterness and flavor up front. It kind of dies out. Small amount of malt, not much of a caramel character to it, not really malty too much at the finish no. at all. Kind of dry in the finish, actually. Yeah, it just kind of spikes at you real quick. Yeah, good but, though. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Boozy, a yeah. little bit boozy. Oh, yeah. Definitely a malt fucking aftertaste. Yeah, I think, um. Break side's pretty good. Yeah. I think I would give this a shot with, uh, this would be great with some grilled chicken. Oh, yeah. You know, something like that. Breakside Wanderlust IPA is yep. a winner in our books. Fucking pretty good. Yeah, it would be a great food beer. Good with grilled meats, grilled chicken for sure. Yeah. You know, some good barbecue. I think this would be an awesome summer beer. Yeah. Um, even though it's a little bit alcoholic, it's really easy to drink. Yeah. It would be great it's for hot you weather. Fucking drink Fairly refreshing. No, but... I don't think I'd want to, you know, come out here with a, you know, four <laughs> or five of these motherfuckers. Yeah. You'd probably end up, you know, face down in the mud, but. Getting eaten by a bear and shit. No, this is good. I mean, as far as woods beer go and, uh, you know, just being kind of trying out different IPAs like we do. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think this this, this holds up. Uh, definitely interesting. Although I think, to be real honest with you, this is better with food than it is just for drinking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I really would. I would I would go that There's route. There's too much to it. it to fucking not have food with it. Yeah, so. I agree. All right. Beer in the woods. <laughs>